Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Clean Browsing version 6.0 on your Android device. This application is specific for Android versions 9 and up. Because of what we do with this app, you will require to use the download we provide on our website versus the Play Store. We still have our Play Store option, uh, but to get the advanced features like preventing a user from uninstalling, etc., you require specific features that the Play Store doesn't allow us uh, to use. So with that, just come to the uh, the documentation on Clean Browsing on Android, which you can find on the cleanbrowsing.org website. Um, from here, you will download Android app version 6.0, and you'll see uh, download the file again. Yes, I want to go ahead and download it again. I had downloaded it while testing. Do not open it from the Chrome application because uh, most of you likely don't have it uh, accepted as an acceptable source. So go to your files. And then you'll see it uh, downloaded in your downloads folder. So if you just kind of go to your file explorer, and you sit downloads, you'll see it right here. And you'll see install. When it does this, it's going to tell you that it's blocked by Play Protect. That's to be expected. And that's simply because uh, we are not in the Play Store. We're going to continue to work with Google to get it accepted. But in the interim, we wanted to make some of these features available to you. So go ahead and install it anyways. So once that is installed, you should see the app pop up. Go ahead and open it. You'll see a whole new design. You'll see uh, a Get Started Wizard. And what we've done is we essentially improved the entire workflow. Uh, a couple things you'll notice from the get-go is we're going to ask for permission. And this is the accessibility module that we're leveraging that Google Play is not allowing us um, to push into the Play Store just yet. But it is functional. Uh, so you'll simply want to give it permission. Every device is a little bit different, but once on the accessibility, you'll see something called installed apps or something similar. Click on that and you'll want to turn clean browsing on. Once it's on, you're giving us permission to make changes on your behalf. So let's go ahead and uh, configure one of the free filters. You'll see it's a new GUI that kind of says, hey, do you have a paid account or do you have a free account? On the free account, go ahead and click on that. We can activate the family filter and you'll see that it automatically sets it for you. Now. In order for this to take effect, we'll have to set the admin on the device. So set the admin. You're going to want to give it permission. Then you want to activate that. Go back to the app, and you're now going to give it a password. One, two, three, four. Set the password. One, two, three, four. Done. Set the password and lock. And now you're configured. Now let's assume you wanted to uninstall the application. You go try to uninstall, you'll notice that even as an admin, it wasn't removed. So that's one of the cool features we've introduced. Hope you like the workflow. If you have any questions, please send us an email at support at cleanbrowsing.org. Thank you.